Thank you for joining me today. I thought it'd be fun we take a good look at Transformers Generation Studio Series Transformers the Movie Buzzworthy Bumblebee Ironhide. So let's take a closer look at this guy. And right up close we can see that Ironhide has his dying face on. We can see that his chest is totally beat up, the windshield, uh, windshield shattered, and there's a little bit of an indentation going in there. Um, I like the tension of details, how they painted in that blue, so that's really nice. And the rest in silver. We have a nice Autobot symbol right there. And nice blue, so that's going to be the windows. Just like Ironhide, he's completely red and a little bit of uh, grays here and there. This is just a little traumatizing for me because it's just bringing back memories when I watched Ironhide died on screen. One of the things I've been noticing, once I have a little bit more of my hands on it, I am not caring for the plastic quality to this. I, I feel like Hasbro has been uh, downgrading on their plastic, and I have not been appreciating that. Iron Eye actually comes with his two guns. So we can actually go ahead and give Ironhide his guns. And now he can go down defending the Autobot ship before he dies. And since it does come with a blast effect, you can actually, you can actually see that hole and we can actually plug that right inside. So now it looks like Ironhide just now just got shot. What you could do, if you wanted to, is like take the blast effects and just add it to the tip of his gun. So it kind of looks a little bit more heroic. Or we could just do something like that and take this out and that. We could definitely do something like that. I mean, I like the play value that way. That's why I always love the blast effect to these. I, I, I do. I love them. One of the fun things you can actually do with weapon storage with Ironhide, if you take one of the guns and there's actually that nice hole right there and we have this peg sticking out and you can actually plug it in right there in the back. And now we have weapon storage. It's like he's not even holding a weapon. I like that. Articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so we can rotate it 360. We do have up and down movement. A little bit of left and right movement to it. The arms can come out that far. And I love how they covered up the armpit here. That is a nice touch. The arms can rotate 360. We do have an elbow joint, we do have a bicep swivel, and we do have a wrist articulation. There is also a waist swivel that can go 360. How far back can he bring his leg? He can bring his leg that far back, that is nice. Let's see if we can open up the skirt a little bit so he can get his leg that high up. He can bend at the knee that much. And we do have ankle articulation. And that does help with some posability. So that is really nice. And you can actually get some pretty good poses at an Ironhide. To transform Ironhide. I would recommend of actually coming to his hands. And we're just going to bend them in that way. Come here on the other side and we're just going to bend them in that way and now what we're going to do come here to his chest bring this all out bring out that hood section and fold in his head and now we're just going to take his arms and we're just going to bring them straight back that's what we want there we go and now since we have a peg we have a hole so we're just going to line up the arms just like that and now we can bring this back and now we want to bring this part down and now we want to take this 
and swing it around. There we go. So now we can actually take this and bring this up. I want to leave it just like so for right now. Now we want to come back over here to the legs and we kind of want to angle these arms in a, in a, in an angle, just kind of like, like that for right now. So now what we want to do, we kind of come here, pull out this panel and we're just kind of leaving it out right to the side. Now we want to come to this panel here, we're going to push that up. And now everything with the foot, we want to bring that out. And then we're just going to bring that panel out. And now we're just going to move everything up forward. So we have that. And then we're just going to close up on the back. So now we have the back portion of Ironhide's van. So we're just going to go ahead, pull this out, pull that out as well. Then we just kind of come over here, push that up, and then we're just going to bring this up as well, and push that back in. So now we want to bring the legs together. There we go. And now we want to get this lined up with the rest. Okay, and now we need to angle these, everything into position here. There we go. Now we want to come here to the other side. We want to do the same thing. Okay, oh, we also want to bring these pieces out. There we go. And now we want to make sure that this is going right in between those. So once we have that all now, and here we have Ironhide fully transformed into his broken down van mode. I am actually really liking the vehicle mode. Um, it's a shame that with the broken shield, I kind of wish there was a, a way that you can Damaged, not damaged. I thought that would be kind of cool. Maybe an extra chest plate. I think that might have been cool. I mean, you could still put a blast effect in there. Looks like he got, you know, hit as he was in his vehicle mode. And there is still weapon storage with his guns. So you can place that right on top. There we go. So now... Now Ironhide can come back and take out more Decepticons with him. To transform Ironhide back into his robot mode, we actually want to split this part open and we want to bring out these panels and we kind of want to bring them out this way. There we go. Bring them out. And now we can separate the arms and now we can split the legs and now we can actually bring it this out fold this in then collapse on that then we can bring this down and now we have the foot close up on that panel flip this panel down and close this one from behind so now we have one leg done so we take this, bring it down, flip this panel in, flip that panel over, bring this back. We have that foot done. Close up on that shin plate, bring this down, and flip that back. So now we have Ironhide's legs done. I'm going to come here to the front of the van, and now we're going to swing this all around so now this will now snap up into the chest like so we can now bring these pieces in on the side bring the arms apart and try to straighten them out to whichever way you like it come and pull out the head 
And now we fold up on that hood and we close up on the chest. And now we just bring this piece up. And now we have Ironhide fully transformed back into his robot mode. My final thoughts are that this Ironhide is, it is a good figure. I just wish the quality of the plastic was better. I, I wish there was some way that we could just switch out um, the chest plate or if there was a way that we could flip it so there's damage, no damage. Um, other than that, I mean, this is a good Ironhide figure. It's just like certain parts in the armpit, I find that there's a loose joint there. Other than that, it, I mean, certain parts are a little loose, but not bad. I, I have to say it is a good it is a good figure, but the plastic quality um, makes me worry. Well, with that said, I just have to thank you all for watching. If you can just do me a favor and just hit the like and subscribe button down below, let me know in the comments if you think he's shelf worthy. And until next time, you'll be hearing me in the next video. Everybody have a great day.